Good morning, Stony and Rose Kitchen. Happy New Year to everybody. Today I'm going to do some kind of a special recipe, which which I have never done. But I'm going to give it a go, and if it comes good, you do it. I'll show you. But there's a few things I need to tell you, and then I need to show you maybe two or three videos, okay? Because this is the phone, if I can, if I continue, it takes a lot of time. But I'm going to give you the recipe first, okay? And here, I've got, I wrote it down, I've got uh, one cup of warm milk, okay? One cup of warm milk, which I'm going to warm it for 40 seconds, okay? And here, I'm going to warm it for 40 seconds in the microwave, okay? I got a quarter of a cup vegetable oil. I got one tablespoon of yeast. I've got uh, two and a half cup plain flour sifted. Okay, and that's it. And one teaspoon salt. So I repeat myself. Okay, I got a cup of warm milk, quarter of a cup oil, one tablespoon yeast, one teaspoon sugar, one teaspoon salt, okay, and two and a half cup of plain flour. So now I tell you what I'm going to do. See if it's warm enough. It should be warm enough. Oh, give him, give him 50 seconds, will ya? I gave the milk 50 seconds, not 40 seconds, 50 seconds, okay? And I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay? There you are. Should be all right. You can do it with water too, but I like the taste of milk, you know? So I'm gonna throw the milk here. Okay? And I'm gonna throw the oil. Everything together, this one, people. But this is a, a different recipe. This is, should be beautiful bread, okay? We'll, we'll find out soon enough, all right? So mix it, okay? Mix it properly until you get the dough. If it comes too soft, put a tiny bit, but it, the recipe exactly, it should come perfect. This is going to be bread which you won't believe because I can't believe. I believe it because my grandmother, when she used to have dry bread, you know, she used to put a clot to it, the bread. But because them days they had no oven, they couldn't do anything. So today we've got ovens. So if you have any dry bread at all, instead of throwing it away, you can wet it, okay? You can wet it and reheat it in the oven. Wet it like we wet, you know, the, uh, the bread for the pudina, eh? So you don't throw the bread away. You can re-wet it, wet it good, and put it back in the oven to, to uh, bake the bread again. So this is done, right? This is all done, like that. So give it a bit of tiny, 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 you know, work it out a little bit. Now what I do now is I warm up. I done a small thing because this is the first time, so I don't want to waste too much. So I gave you half of the recipe that I was going to do. But if they come good, then I'll increase. And if they come good, you keep going doing this bread for a long time. So what I do, I got a, I got a, this one here, because this is not 
you know, this is uh, small. What I do here, I put some oil like that into this. Not much, just enough to to spread it with oil like that. Okay, that's it. That's all you have to do. Now this one, I put it in here. Okay, so I put two table, two tea towels in the microwave. I heat them for 50 seconds or a minute, doesn't matter. Okay, and then I I get the glad wrap here, right? I cover this, everything slowly, slowly at first, and then you will do them too fast. There you are, okay? And I cover it with the glad wrap, okay? I cover it with the glad wrap, I put some oil in the bottom. I put 50 seconds, two towel, tea towels in the microwave, heat them up, switch it off, put this in the microwave. You can put anything, you can put one of them too, but as long as you don't have the microwave on. After you switch off the microwave, you leave that, and within half an hour it should come stubborn. You don't have to wait too long on the bench. If it's a hot day, yeah, you got a chance to do it on the bench, but because it's not that hot today, and I usually do it every time anyway, I like to put in the microwave after I heat the, the heat, the microwave, you know. So what I'm going to do after, cut short, I will roll this out when it puff up, roll it, roll it, and not all of it, I cut it first, I show you anyway. Okay, and then ro flatten out with the roller pen, roll it, let it rise a bit, and I put them in the hot water, boiling water for a minute or two. For a minute or two. Lift them up, put them in a dish, and put them in the oven. But I will show you. Tony and Rose Kitchen, I hope you people have a new year, had a new year. I hope you keep yourself safe and look after each other. Look after your parents, because I will thank the Lord Jesus Christ that my kids look after me. Because since I, lo le I lost their mother, I am just a lost sheep, okay? And my new year was just spend a, a bit of time with my oldest daughter, because I haven't seen the young one yet, okay? I know she rang, and I haven't seen her yet, but I will. I know the reason why I haven't seen her, so I'm not blaming her, okay? And I thank you for your kind words, and I will try to teach you what I learn, okay? What I learn, I try to teach you. And because I learned, but I have never done it yet, so I need to show you how it comes before you do what I did. But if I do good, you should do it too. And if it comes good, I guarantee you, you'll never buy a loaf of bread again, <laughs> okay? You make your own, you know what you did. You know what you're eating. God bless you. God be with you. I try to do the best, to teach you the best. Okay, one day I should open a school, really. And there's so many things that I can teach you about. Maltese food, especially. Okay? And hopefully you enjoy it. I do. God bless you all, my friends, and may, may God give you strength, safe, and good different years, I hope. God bless. Bye.